Tonight, we go to Mexico as authorities announce dismal news about the missing 43 students. And to Porter in chief no more, Latinos might be heading back to Team Obama. But what about the Dreamer's parents? Obama might be making strides for young immigrant Latinos, but what about the people that raised them? And are Twitter and Facebook predicting who will take over the White House in 2016? Find out what users are saying. And join us as we sit down with Julia Spahiu as she shares her experiences with the Association of Women in Communications at Rutgers University here on Latinos Unidos. <laughs> Rockers, bienvenidos. Welcome to Latinos Unidos. I'm your host, Danielle Noriega. Listo? Let's get down to business. On our last episode, we report on the missing 43 students from Guerrero, Mexico. After Mayor Jose Luis Abarca Velasquez and his wife, Maria de Los Angeles Pineda Vila, allegedly put a hit on them. On December 6, 2014, forensic specialists announced the remains found in southern Mexico belonged to 21-year-old Alexander Mora Benacio, one of the missing 43. Mexican Attorney General Jesus Murillo Caram confirmed the news at a press conference on Sunday. This mass kidnapping has ensued protests throughout the entire nation, and the sad news won't stop them from continuing. A spokesman for the families told reporters, quote, if the murderers think that because the DNA of one of our kids matched, we're going to stop and cry. We want to let them know that they're wrong, that this struggle will continue until we find our 42 missing comrades alive. Meanwhile, President Enrique Peña Nieto pays his first visit to the region of where the missing 43 students disappeared. The students who were reported missing in September. It's now December. Nieto has been criticized for his lax attitude, according to Fox Latino. Nieto has not publicly acknowledged the students' kidnapping until almost a month after the event. During his visit, Nieto told the students' families that he is making strides towards a better Mexico. We can only hope so. We're going to take a short break, but don't go anywhere. You're watching Latinos Unidos. Good morning, Rutgers. I'm Jackie Kelly, and today we're going to explore an exhibit at the Center for Latino Arts and Culture, also known as CLAC, called The Persistence of Memory, Letters to My First. Aspiring artist Jessica Nadel will have her unique projects on display as they tell a profound story of self-exploration and realization. Let's go take a closer look. Can you tell us a little bit about this exhibit? Well, just to tell you a little bit about this program, uh, it's a collaboration between the Center for Latino Arts and Culture and the Center for Social Justice, Education, and LGBT Communities. Um, it, today is coming out there, national coming out there. So uh, we wanted to organize a program that um, allowed our students to um, consider and explore uh, gender identities among the Latino population as, well, as part of the the different uh, identities that Latinos can express. Um, and so we um, found an artist who's uh, based in uh, Jersey City, and uh, this is Jessica Natal. And so we thought it would be a good idea to bring her to um, present her work and have it serve as a, an impetus for a conversation. So today, as part of this program about you know, National Coming Out Day, it's also Are You Ally um, Week, and we're trying to engage students in thinking about and pledging to support um, students uh, in their various places where they are and uh, acknowledge those places and, um, and to be supportive. So can you tell us a little bit about your art piece on display? Uh, sure. Um, it's, it's, well, it's super personal. Um, it took place about 16 years ago. Um, and it sort of documents basically the letters that my first girlfriend and I had written to each other. The materials that uh, I used were um, basically sheetrock and um, interior um, high gloss paint. Um, yeah, and basically just pencil. I learned to forgive. Um, that's, I think, the biggest part that I learned. Um, it was sort of a really traumatic experience. And uh, yeah, it was a big one. So why'd you come up to the exhibit today? 
Well, I came out to the exhibit because I know the center um, usually has interesting exhibits. And concerning the fact that it's in, in, it's an in installation, I was interested to see how it would be laid out. I came out to this exhibit because um, it's actually one that's kind of important to me. I am a queer person of color myself, so I'm I'm reading the panels and just looking at them, and I see some of myself, my own, you know, question about my identity in it. Why do you think students should come out to this exhibit? Well, I think it's always interesting to just be around art. Um, I think art is very important because I personally feel that there, there's something that goes into making art that it pulls out a piece of the artist. I definitely think art is important when it comes to, you know, learning a bit about yourself. You learn about yourself from things around you. We relate ourselves to the outside world. Well, there you have it, Rockers. Be sure to come and check out this exhibit. And as always, keep painting the town scarlet. I'm Jackie Kelly, RUTV. Visit the Livingston Plaza, where you can shop, dine, and experience the comforts of home right here at Rutgers on the Livingston campus. Welcome to Livingston Campus at Rutgers University. Located in Piscataway, Livingston is the youngest of New Brunswick and Piscataway's five campuses and is a place that anticipates the future. In the past five years, Livingston Campus has been revamped. In 2011, the campus opened up a new dining commons and renovated its student center by adding meeting and lounge rooms, dining options, and a convenience store. In 2012, the Livingston Apartments opened up, and below these beautiful residence halls is the Livingston Plaza that includes stores, restaurants, and a cinema. Fall of 2013, the new Rutgers Business School building opened up. It provides students with up-to-date tools and resources to successfully prepare for the business world. To find out more information about the Livingston Campus, visit livingstoncampus.rutgers.edu. Welcome back to Latinos Unidos. We go political as strives are made towards immigration reform, yet the setbacks aren't hard to ignore. Deportation has dropped, hitting its lowest mark in six years under the Obama administration. Dubbed the deporter-in-chief, Obama's penultimate year in office has seen a 14% drop in deportations. Now, according to Fox Latino, the Times observed that the drop in deportations is likely to give new ammunition to Republicans who accuse the administration of lax enforcement, although it could also boost the president's standing in Latino communities. Now, these reports come after Obama announced in November sweeping deportation reforms that could help up to 5 million undocumented immigrants under conditions that they meet the age requirement to stay and have a clean record. Now, the Dreamers fall under this approved criteria. Young Latinos who are seeking to further their status and obtain jobs and an education. But what about their parents? The reform focuses on family members of the Dreamers with legal status, meaning that their undocumented parents are subject to deportation. Fox Latino reports, in a memo dated November 19, 2014, White House counsel found that expanding the Deferred Acting Program for DACA parents would be an impermissible exercise by the Department of Homeland Security under which U.S. Citizen and Immigration Services, Immigration and Custom Enforcements and Customs and Border Protection operate. More to come on that story now. We'll be right back with some social media updates. You're watching Latinos Unidos. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
So the art library exhibit space, as you see around us, is a space that we have here in the art library that's to showcase the campus, the community, and the individuals and the artists and the creators that are within our midst. The reason the art library is so great is we're a collection that does not circulate. Within our collection we have over 90,000 volumes and we also are able to provide a huge array of exhibits from students and community members. We have exhibits going on in our cases and we really want community and faculty, students and staff to come and enjoy and have their voice heard and be able to appreciate the arts in ways that maybe they aren't usually seen. So to find out more information about the Art Library exhibit space, you can certainly join the Art Library Facebook page, or sometimes you'll find information on the Rutgers University Library homepage. The Blaustein School of Planning and Public Policy is now offering new majors for students. The school offers major programs of study in health administration, planning and public policy, public health, and public policy. I'm very excited about the new majors. I think they're terrific opportunities for our students to really get professional skills with great job perspectives, and at the same time, get the ability to change the world. The health administration major is fabulous. We have great connections to some wonderful faculty and practitioners, and policy is just a wonderful opportunity for those students who care about the world, want to make a difference to the world, to come and get the skills to actually do that. We don't just think about change here at Blaustein, we make change. For more information, visit policy.ruckers.edu backslash new majors. No cash? Fear not, my friend, for I have a simple, easy way for you to deposit money straight from your bank account onto a card that you carry every day. That's right, RU Express is a debit account system on your RUID which can be used to make purchases on campus and many locations off campus. Well, how can I tell which off campus stores offer RU Express? Just look for a red RU Express sticker or a big Rutgers R on the outside of your selected destination, or you can find a complete list of the off campus merchants online. Well, what if I have money on my card left over when I go home for the summer? No worries. RU Express is still valid in the summer and your balance will carry over from year to year. What if I need to get my RU Express balance refunded? Refunds will not be permitted unless a graduating student submits a RU Express refund request form for a minimum of $25. Now that's enough questions. Hurry up and transfer some money onto that ID of yours and buy those books. Douglas College was originally founded in 1918 as the New Jersey College for Women. In 2007, it was integrated into Rutgers University and is now known as Douglas Campus. Since then, Douglas has expanded to include the number one women's history program in the country and Mason Grove School of the Arts, a prestigious fine arts conservatory. Although the Douglas Campus is co-ed, Douglas is also home to the Douglas Residential College, the only all-women's program of its kind. Douglas is still growing. Stop by and see what's new today. Welcome back to Latinos Unidos. According to published reports, social media, specifically Twitter and Facebook, have given the GOP and the Democratic Party a good look as to who might be taking over in 2016. An overwhelming amount of tweets and Facebook updates and infiltrated feeds with users' opinions. When it comes to social media, there's no doubt Gen Y has dominated online forums. Now, let's see who our young viewers would like to see in office next. Latinos Unidos social media correspondent Brendan Jenkins has your tweets. Brendan? Thanks, Danielle. That's right. Twitter and Facebook are loaded with opinions, and we're here to sound off on your thoughts. 
user at E underscore Anagrama tweets, at Latinos Unidos TV, I would love to see Hillary Clinton in office. Thanks, Elizabeth. Definitely would be nice to see a woman take over. While Vamzi Krukal tweets, at Latinos Unidos TV, I'm still seeing blue. I'd like to see Joe Biden step up. Would be an interesting switch. Thanks, Vamzi. Our outspoken viewer Joey Lupo writes, at Latinos Unidos TV, I would love to see Emperor Palpatine in office in 2016. Little Star Wars reference, there's always a prankster in the bunch. Well, can't wait to see 2016 come sooner. Let's see how much influence social media really has on voting. Back to you, Danielle. Thanks, Brennan. I definitely have to agree. 2016 can't come any sooner. We'll be right back with more on Latinos Unidos. Have you been searching and just can't seem to find a job? The Job Location and Development Program at Rutgers can help solve all of those problems. On November 4th from 1 to 1.30 p.m., make your way to the Hot Jobs of the Season information session to learn of various job opportunities on campus. There will be listings of cool part-time and seasonal jobs. Also, the Student Employment Office staff will introduce you to potential employers. The session will take place in the College Ave Student Center's multi-purpose room and pizza will be served. Just remember to bring your RUID to be admitted. So check it out, you just might leave with a hot job. These clips are inspired by actual events. Don't let this be you. The Rutgers mobile app is an application available for iPhones, iPads, and iPods, as well as Android phones and tablets. Through this app, you are able to access the university in the palm of your hands. On this app, you will find many helpful features such as university bus schedules, dining hall menus for each campus, operational hours and upcoming events for career services, as well as the recreation center's events and hours, and a list of student life events, and more. The app is available at the Apple Store and on Google Play. Download it today. For more information, go to oss.ruckers.edu slash mobile. Welcome to Livingston Campus at Rutgers University. Located in Piscataway, Livingston is the youngest of New Brunswick and Piscataway's five campuses and is a place that anticipates the future. In the past five years, Livingston Campus has been revamped. In 2011, the campus opened up a new dining commons and renovated its student center by adding meeting and lounge rooms, dining options, and a convenience store. In 2012, the Livingston Apartments opened up, and below these beautiful residence halls is the Livingston Plaza that includes stores, restaurants, and a cinema. Fall of 2013, the new Rutgers Business School building opened up. It provides students with up-to-date tools and resources to successfully prepare for the business world. To find out more information about the Livingston Campus, visit livingstoncampus.ruckers.edu. The Blaustein School of Planning and Public Policy is now offering new majors for students. The school offers major programs of study in health administration, planning and public policy, public health, and public policy. I'm very excited about the new majors. I think they're terrific opportunities for our students to really get professional skills with great job perspectives and at the same time get the ability to change the world. The health administration major is Fabulous. We have great connections to some wonderful faculty and practitioners. And policy is just a wonderful opportunity for those students who care about the world, want to make a difference to the world, to come and get the skills to actually do that. We don't just think about change here at Blaustein. We make change. 
For more information, visit policy.rutgers.edu backslash new majors. Welcome back to Latinos Unidos. I'm sitting here with treasurer of the Association of Women in Communication here at Rutgers University. Julia, how are you today? Good, how are you? Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Of course. Now, can you tell us a little bit of why you decided to join the Association for Women in Communication of here course. at Rutgers? Um, I thought it would be an excellent networking opportunity just to meet girls in the field. And of course, it looks good on your resume to have an e-board position in an association. Internships, I feel like, would love that. So yeah, I thought I would join. And as treasurer, what exactly are your responsibilities? Just dealing with all the budgets, making sure we have enough money for the meetings, for any programmings, or any big events we want to do. We went to a conference like recently, so making sure all of that we have the right money for it. And tell me a little bit about that conference. My understanding was it was in New York City, mm -hmm. and it was with the New York City Women in Communications, which is a huge yeah. organization for women in media here on the East Coast. So yeah. tell me a little bit about that event. It was amazing. It was like this huge networking event. One of the main editor, uh, one of the main keynote speakers was the editor-in-chief of Marie Claire. Mm -hmm. So that was really nice to see her talk. They had a bunch of top uh, speakers. We even went on like separate like sections and you'd get to like speak with them one-on-one. -on -one. You gave them your resume. So it was just like an amazing networking event. They gave out prizes. And three of the girls from our club like won. So my understanding was you were actually one of the winners. Yeah. So tell, tell us a little bit about that prize. It so it's not really just cool. media, you get prizes. Um, it was this makeup bag, and it was really cool. And then one of the girls actually won um, a lunch with the editor-in-chief of Maria Claire. That's so awesome. So that was awesome, yeah. Definitely a career highlight for her. Mm -hmm. that. So then what would you say thus far is your most memorable experience with the organization? Um. I feel like just meeting the girls in general and all of us like making a bond together, that was really cool. And we've had a bunch of like great guest speakers. So seeing them and having them like network with us mm -hmm. and even giving them like our resume and our email and hopefully like in the future something will work out, that was really cool. So all right, so I'm gonna give you some a self uh, a uh, a selfless plug, as they say. Okay. Oops, sorry. So <laughs> if you can look at that monitor okay. and tell us why students here should join the woman, the Association for Women's in Communication here at Rutgers University. Please tell us why. Okay, it's a great group of girls. We do a bunch of networking events. We have guest speakers, and it's really fun, and it looks really good on your resume, so I feel like all the girls who are in the communication field should definitely join. Short and sweet. I, I'm, I'm convinced. Hopefully Perfect. others are convinced as well. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. Well, thank you again for joining thank us, you. and good luck to you in any and all future endeavors, Julia. Thank Thanks you. so I much. matching. And, thank, and, our, and our matching. Our matching <laughs> guests. Look at that. Perfect. All right, guys, we'll be right back with more Latinos Unidos. What the heck is an exit interview? What is an exit interview, Wax? Well, it's a step that every graduate that has received a federally funded student loan must complete. Your exit interview is an online counseling session that talks you through your financial obligations now that you're out of school. There's a separate exit interview for federal Perkins loans and Stafford loans. If you receive both, you will need to do both interviews. You need to complete an exit interview if you're a graduating senior, you're planning to attend graduate school, or you stop attending school. Well, there you go. If you have any questions or need more information about exit interviews, visit studentabc.ruckers.edu slash exit dash counseling. Are you an artist or an art enthusiast? Check out Zimmerly Art Museum's Art After Hours. Every first Tuesday of the month, Zimmerly hosts a fun-free event for students. Enjoy a new lineup of activities and events all year long. For more information on the Art After Hours, visit zimmerlymuseum.ruckers.edu.
Now to one of my favorite parts of the show, events. It may be the end of the semester, but Rutgers is still chock full of them. Stress with finals, joint respira, which also means breathe in English, on Thursday, December 11th at 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Enjoy relaxing activities that will take your mind off of exams. From a walk at Buclaic Park to salsa fitness workshops, the clock is here to give you that extra pat on the back to ace your finals. And the rewards don't stop there. On December 12th, join the CLAC from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. on the College Avenue campus for Baranda, a fun Latin-style holiday party for a job well done this semester. Don't miss out before hitting the books. We'll be right back with Latinos Unidos. <laughs> The Rutgers Police Department is investigating In two burglaries and aggravated assault an unknown individual on the Douglas Saturday, campus. April 26. The Rutgers University Police Department reminds you that you can reduce your chances of being a victim of crime by taking reasonable precautions, including remaining alert and aware of the people and circumstances around you, immediately reporting suspicious activity to law enforcement, and keeping doors and windows locked when leaving your residence. Crime does happen, and the RUPD is here to help. If you see something strange, speak up. These clips are inspired by actual events. Don't let this be you. The Rutgers mobile app is an application available for iPhones, iPads, and iPods, as well as Android phones and tablets. Through this app, you are able to access the university in the palm of your hands. On this app, you will find many helpful features, such as university bus schedules, dining hall menus for each campus, operational hours and upcoming events for career services, as well as the recreation center's events and hours, and a list of student life events, and more. The app is available at the Apple Store and on Google Play. Download it today. For more information, go to oss.ruckers.edu slash mobile. The Rutgers bus system provides more than 15 options to get around the five campuses. Sounds overwhelming? But here's a quick recap of the bus routes and available resources to make traveling easier. On weekdays, the A and H buses make stops along College Ave and Bush. The B loops between Livingston and Bush as the LX makes stops on Livingston and College Ave. The F takes an express route by traveling Route 18 from College Ave to Cook and Douglas. The Rex L goes between Douglas and Livingston, with the Rex B looping between Douglas and Bush. There are also weekend buses, which make stops on every campus. Each bus stop displays the routes of the specific bus stopping there and the expected arrival times. To learn more about the Rutgers bus system and additional bus services, download the Rutgers app, visit nextbus.com, or ru.ruckers.edu. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Latinos Unidos. Don't forget to keep tweeting us at Latinos Unidos TV. We'll be happy to read your thoughts on our next episode. And of course, we'll be here for our final episode of the semester on our home, RUTV. We can't wait to see you. I'm your host, Danielle Noriega. Till next time, buen dia, rockers. Mm -hmm.